The internet is not a new place for mysteries and shady business. If you go beyond regular Facebook, YouTube and Instagram, the chances are you will stumble upon something really weird. Cicada 3301 is unlike anything I saw on the internet. Cicada 3301 is a name given to an enigmatic organization that on several occasions has posted a set of puzzles to recruit highly intelligent individuals from the public. On the 5th of January 2012, users browsing B or random board on 4chan were greeted with a mysterious image unlike much else seen on that board that says, Hello, we are looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in this image. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few that will make it all the way through. Good luck 3301. Almost everyone browsing 4chan on those days noticed this image. Within a few days, this image was reposted all over the internet. The image made internet crazy. And this was the beginning of most mysterious puzzle on the internet. A lot of people initially thought it was another alternate reality game. Some thought it was a recruitment program for some intelligence agency like CIA, NSA or MI6. Majority of them believed it as nothing more than an elaborated joke or some kind of troll. And to this day, few knows where the rabbit hole leads to. And those who knew have disappeared from the internet and have not told anybody else. If it sounds like a scary story, that's because it is. Welcome to the world of Cicada. The image was examined by several users and find out that by opening the image using a text editor such as Notepad and dumping the byte value revealed and text at the end of the file. This was quickly found to be a Caesar cipher. Solving this led to an another image. Using software called as Outguess, from the second clue, users were able to extract a book code and a link to a subreddit and this led to an another level and it continued. At this point, nobody knows what will happen to the winner and no one knows who is behind this game. It was initially thought that someone sitting in their home can be behind this game and the whole thing is nothing more than a joke. But in a round, participants are given with a set of coordinates that they have to find posters situated in those coordinates spread across the globe. And this made it clear that 3301 is an organization that is widely spread around the globe. And the usage of the term we in the first clue also verified this. After a few public puzzles, from a stage onwards, Cicada made a change in the game. And it let only the first comers saying, we need the best, not the followers. And they were asked the people who reached the stage first not to share the further puzzle. And the entire thing went underground. After a few weeks, a message titled Wole has appeared in the subreddit that were used in the third round of this puzzle, which read, Hello, we have now found the individuals we sought. Thus our month-long journey ends. For now, thank you for your dedication and effort. If you were unable to complete the test or did not receive an email, do not despair. There will be more opportunities like this one. Thank you all 3301. Cicada had the foresight to add a PGP signature from the third round of the first puzzle, which provides a way to verify a clue was real and prevent the puzzle from hijacking by others. After a lot of fake games and trolls, exactly a year later, on 5th of January, a second image was posted to X and B image boards on 4chan. This image is special because using the software Outcast, the image gave a text output which was signed using the key 7A3509OF, the same key used by Cicada in the 2012 puzzle, thus give the authenticity of this new game. This new clue give a book code which on solving to a Dropbox link and so on. After a few public stages, like the 2012 puzzle, 
2013 Fossil selected a few first comers and gone underground. But unlike the 2012 Fossil, there was no official announcement of ending this time. Again, after a year of silence, on the January 6, 2014, a Twitter account used by Sikara during 2013 Puzzle tweeted a link to an image, which was also signed by the same PGP key Sikara used during 2012 and 2013. This image led to an another clue and so on, till at last a clue led to a 58-page book called Liber Primus, which is completely written in coded runes and assumed to be written by Cicada. But till the time I make this video, only two pages were decoded. And one page asked the solvers to find a page in deep web which hashes to a code. But this page was never found. There is no information about any further progress in 2012 puzzle. And there was no message from Cicada after that. Unlike the previous years, there was no new puzzle in 2015, but the Twitter account used by Cicada tweeted a pastebin link in 28th July. This was an official response to a news report on that time accusing Cicada 3301 of hacking. And later, it is found out that the hackers have nothing to do with real 3301. Again in January 2016, solvers found no new puzzles awaiting them at the start of January. This time, there was a message however tweeted by Cicada which asked the solvers to solve Liber Primus. But still, Liber Primus was unsolved. After more than an year, on April 4, 2017, Cicada posted this message on Pastebin. Which means, beware of fake puzzles, always verify the PGP signature of 3301. We haven't heard anything from 3301 from then. Only a great silence. The majority of solvers involved in 2013 and 14 puzzle were suggesting that 3301 will only return if we solve Liver Primus. But due to lack of motivation and due to the difficulty of the puzzle, it still remains unsolved. As the puzzle are focused primarily on cryptography, stenography, data security, literature and music, this makes some people think that 3301 is a group that is behind several internet anonymity softwares including Bitcoin or it is an online cult. And some suggested that this is an alternate reality game to promote privacy oriented softwares like Tor and to promote cryptography and privacy. A few people like Marcus Warner and Knox Popley came forward as winners of 2012 and 2013 puzzles respectively. As they haven't published any data to prove any of their claim, we can neither be 100% sure about anything. As per what Marcus Warner said in an interview on Knox Popley's YouTube channel, after 2012 puzzle ended, he was invited along with the other winners to a website in the dark web where he interacted with a few members of Cicada. And they asked the winners to come up with an idea and make a software that can help to solve privacy issues. As per his explanation, 3301 is a group started by a few friends who recruited their friends and their community grown to an international organization. Due to the lack of motivation, the activity of the website slowly reduced and became eventually died. After a few months, the website went down and all communication with Cicada stopped. And according to Nox Popoli, he was not invited to any website but instead asked to be patient. Modern cryptography is based on prime numbers and also periodical Cicada has a prime number life cycle. They emerge once in every 13 or 17 years. 3301 is very similar to the cypherpunk movement in 1990s at University of California, Berkeley. And the principles of 3301 are similar to the manifesto of cypherpunk. And most interestingly, the person who wrote the manifesto, Eric Hughes, who was a mathematician and a computer expert, created a domain cicada.berkeley.edu, which was used as a mailing list mainly for students and professors of 
you see Berkeley and gradually grown to a large number of people including Julian Assange founder of WikiLeaks Roger Dingledine creator of Tor the mailing list was username at cicada.berkeley.hu this similarity led us to a conclusion that 3301 may be inspired by cypherpunk movement and their names or it may be a modern version of cypherpunk movement itself for me an international group of privacy focused hobbies programmer seem to be the best and more realistic answer to the mystery as the library primers is not solved yet i hope that there will be no new puzzle for the next year 2020 i will update this video if there is any sign of cicada in 2019 or 2020 the interesting thing about cicada is it could be anything an intelligence agency looking for highly intelligent code breakers to a highly secret group of highly intelligent people who secretly controls the world there is no way to know for sure the mystery will remain a mystery Click on the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get more awesome videos like this. Click on the like button. Comment below what do you think. Also share this video with your friends and family.